What is good, everybody? I'm Jake, coming at you straight from the internet, and today we're building something. As you can see here, there's some materials. Now I'm prepping a little workstation, just making an edge to clamp my boards down to. Today I'm cutting some 1x4 pine, and you see me there clamping it down, but I'm using another piece of wood just so that the clamps don't scar up my board. Do a little bit of rough sanding after I cut each piece and uh, that's just to give it a semi-finished texture to it and it's just going to allow the stain to, to work a little bit better and make things easier for us in the, in the final finished sanding and staining of this. So you may have noticed there I was using a hacksaw to cut the wood and that's not intentional. I just don't have the proper saw to use and that was gonna give me the closest kind of cut I needed. Here I'm just prepping some of the ties that are gonna actually hold each panel to this garden bed together. And um, each tie is a little bit wider longer than the panel you can see there it sticks up above the panel and that's because the ties are not only holding each panel together but also in the corners they're acting as posts for a mosquito netting system that's going to go over top of the whole garden bed so there i was just gluing piloting and screwing each board to the tie you want to stagger them so that all the screws don't run in a straight line down the tie. That's going to make it a lot stronger and prevent your wood from splitting. So here I'm getting them lined up. Put a reference mark on there. Put some glue on there. Get my board in position. Clamp one end down. Put all my spacers in. Clamp the other end down. And now it's ready to be piloted and screwed. There's a many different techniques or approaches you can go with when uh, doing something like this, of how you're going to hold your piece in position and make it uh, line up properly. So before I put the other end on, I decided I was going to put one in the middle here, just make it a little bit stronger. And some of the boards were a little twisted. This is like pretty young pine, just Home Depot, basic 1x4 pine stock. A uh, good point to add that the ties are on the back side of each panel, so they're not the face of it. So that's why I'm running all my screws through the ties there, because you won't be seeing those when it's all built and put together. The whole shape of the garden bed is going to be trapezoidal, so the front end will be the front panel will be shorter than the back panel and just to give it a little bit of more visual appeal and uh, we can put some taller plants in the back, some shorter plants in the front, front. like you know, you got your onions and your, your all your low lying plants like carrots, like root plants. So here I'm staining using a hot dog roller and an old crappy paintbrush. I'm using some weather seal. It's kind of a mix between paint and stain. It's important that when you're putting this stuff on or using these, this kind of medium that your wood is really dry, especially if it's not, doesn't have any kind of pressure treated or weather treated qualities to it beforehand. Here I'm just using raw pine so there is no treatment on that wood already. Now I'm prepping the the area for the garden bed. Did a little bit of edging with the flat shovel and just scraped up the grass there. Now putting the front panel in. Making sure the screws go through the ties and into the front facing boards. Now just shoring it up, making everything, making sure everything's plumb. The garden bed isn't level exactly. That's fine because there's a slight 
like a uh, hill in the yard. So if it, you know, drops like 10 degrees even, sloping downwards, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Uh, you, you won't notice it compared to the rest of the yard. You might see it up against the house right there, how the left side's lower than the right side. So that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you can comment on the video. And you can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Jake FRM Internet. And uh, any questions, you can feel free to ask. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave me a like. It really does help out a lot. Until next time, peace out.